right, let's check out what we've picked up over the last couple weeks. Not quite as much as usual. It's been a lot of stuff to still look through. Let's start over here, go back in time. We got some Proust here, Remembrance of Things Past, part one, I guess. Still a big book. For two bucks, good deal. And for four dollars, three ninety nine, we got Dan Simmons' The Terror, a really nice looking copy, oversized paperback. Book that I look forward to reading in the near in the near future, hopefully. I do got a regular paperback of that too, so I'll probably end up selling this one. And Terry Pratchett's A Hat Full of Sky, hardcover. Nice condition. Only four bucks. Great deal. And for seven bucks, we got another copy of the Silmarillion, American First Edition. And let's check the printing on this one. Pretty cool find here. As you, you know, see this every once in a while. This is a fourth printing. Awesome find. And we got some one dollar titles here. The shocking truth about water by the Braggs, who you, if the name sounds familiar, they're the ones who make the apple cider vinegar product that you may have seen or used before. Should be interesting. I'm, of course, very interested in all things relating to water. I think there's a lot of things that people are confused about when it comes to water and what they should drink or use and and apply to their skin or not, maybe? Anyways, so, oh wait, okay, this might have been a $2 book. I think it was just $1, but one way or another. The Secret of the Golden Flower, Chinese Book of Life. This, oh yeah, this has a um, commentary by Jung. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was $1. We also got Jung and Herman Hess, A Record of Two Friendships. Pretty cool. And what we got here? Oh, some more Jung from the life and work of C.J. Jung. Pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure these were a dollar. If at worst they were two dollars. But let's see what else we got here. Dreams, your magic mirror. Now this was definitely a dollar. Some pretty interesting stuff in there. We got the Japanese mind, essentials of Japanese philosophy and culture. Nice big book here too. One dollar for that, and one dollar for the best of C. M. Kornbluth, edited by Frederick Pohl. Really cool looking cover, cover art there. And a pretty nice condition too. Book club edition. And it's an anthology, of course, of all those stories. And we got, these aren't worth a ton or anything, but it's a pretty cool to get both volumes one and volume two of Galactic Empires by Brian Aldiss, oh, excuse me, edited by Brian Aldiss, which would have a lot of different authors too, I think. Let's see, oh no, those are acknowledgements. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, a lot of familiar names in there. Take too long. Oh, at least we don't have as much to look through. Just go around. Oh, yeah, Frederick Brown, Van Vogt, Harry Harrison, all kinds of good names in there. So yeah, make an easy listing having both volumes there, but for one dollar each, hard to pass up. And some more $1 paperback titles here. Secrets of the Kahuna Med of Kahuna Magic. Might keep that one around to check out first. And we got a, um, one of the Avon paperback editions of Foundation. In really nice shape. There must be something that, that indicates that there's a flaw right about there. That's all there is. It's just this little stain or whatever. But for a buck, it's still a good deal. John Varley's The Persistence of Vision, which is a short story anthology, which this book also contains, for you Mystery Science Theater fans out there, the overdrawn at the Memory Bank story, which we'll 
point out right here. Let's see, we got, see, over drilling at the memory bank down at the bottom there, which I read is good, pretty good, very similar to the movie. Little differences though, of course, oh, obviously. Book one, oh yeah, so we got um, The Silver Call Duology by Dennis McKeeran, Trek 2, Craig. Don't see these all the time, pretty cool pickups so though, decent condition. Really love the cover art for the McKeeran books. There's a another trilogy that looks similar as far as the books go and the cover art. Oh yeah, it's the Iron Tower trilogy. This is the one I'm thinking of. And Heretics of Dune. Yeah, pretty nice looking. Uh, spine's a little worn, but for a dollar, really awesome pickup. Let's see if it's a uh, first printing or not. Oh, it doesn't say actually. Or wait, yeah, maybe it does. Uh, either way. And we got a old copy of the stand in fair condition spine looks nice it's just some cover wear there but for a dollar really awesome pick up there let's check the uh, printing on this guy too that'll make some difference maybe a little bit oops went a little too far there i guess one second there we go it is a first printing so that's really cool and we found also found a Steven Erickson book, part of the Malazan, one of the Malazan books, Bone Hunters, a nice big book as well. I think this was one I did not have. I've been accumulating the Steven Erickson Malazan books for eventual reading, which might not be anytime soon, maybe later this year. I'll, actually, sometime this year I will start the first book, but probably won't get around to a lot of these because they're very big books and there's a lot of them in the series. Okay, some more $1 titles here. It's a awesome pickup here, this Perry Mason, old Perry Mason novel. Uh, it solves the case of the glamorous ghost. Yeah, this was originally a 45 cent or so. Pretty nice, it's got some tape and some cover wear, but for a dollar, awesome deal. John Bruner's Interstellar Empire. Got a couple of John Bruner's here. This is a da yellow spine. It's a cool pickup there. And John Bruner's Quicksand. A little bit of wear as well. Another doll. We found some more Gene Wolfe, who we saw, I think, in the last video. So we got some more of these uh, Timescape editions. I like these for whatever reason. I think they're cool looking. Books, you don't see them as often either, the timescape. Um, though they are, I think, with a bigger publisher. We got, let's see, this one's The Sword of the Lictor and The Claw of the Conciliator. Cool cover art there. This one's in a little better shape. Oh, spoke too soon, didn't I? <laughs> I don't think I even saw that in it. I just cheats myself right there, huh? You even got some highlight marks. Let's flip through to see if there's there's much more. No, just oh yeah, I guess there's some. Oh well. Of course, when you sell books like that, you obviously have to take pictures of all of the books in the surround. But you want to make sure that there's no markings inside. Usually, fiction, you'll never find too much of that. Highlighter marks, pen marks, and underlining usually comes with nonfiction. But sometimes you want to make sure, especially if it's a more expensive book so you don't get any bad feedback from the customer. And we got the Citadel of the Autark. I think we saw this one to have, now we got a second, possibly have a second copy right here. This one's another time escape. And one more Gene Wolfe, The Earth of the New Sun. Earth spelled U-R-T-H. Got another, I'm not sure if I noticed that before. Though this was last week, I, w I probably would have picked these up pick those up anyways so either way and some hard covers right here we found some really cool hard covers for a dollar including this hard we usually find this one in pocket paperback but we got the stalker uh stalkers uh, anthology here it's got dean coons f paul wilson I'm not sure who john coin is but he's highlighted a bit there uh, robert mccammon 
something right there. Oh, we've seen th these before. That same sticker in other books. I wonder if it's the same from the same person or not. Pretty cool pickup though. And got Michael Moorcock's Fortress of the Pearl, book eight in the Elric saga. Nice condition, pretty much, yeah, not too bad. Awesome pickup for $1. And even better, the Elric Saga Part 1 with three books in one, a three-in-one hardcover. Really cool cover art. This is a really awesome find, especially for a dollar. And yeah, it looks great as far as condition goes, so this is one of the best pickups the last couple weeks and got this one for a dollar a nice huge oversized pickback nearly coffee table size book of Simon 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 and Schuster book of opera cool art on the front there my little brother is an opera singer oh, it's got a lot of great pictures too the little brother is an opera singer so I take more interest in opera because of that I like opera either way I love classical music especially but so I might get him or pass this along to him I don't want to burden him with too many books but when I find opera books I sometimes can't help myself especially that's kind of a nice looking book right there for one dollar how can you say no in my situation and we got some Will, uh, William Gibson books some two dollar books here this one is count zero no it's not about a vampire but <laughs> And we got, which one's this? The Difference Engine. Nice condition. And one more, William Gibson. Idoru. So yeah, three William Gibson books there. And for $3, we got Dan Simmons' The Hollow Man in pretty nice condition. Don't see that one all too often, or Dan Simmons in general. I can't help but pick him pick up his books when I find them. And Nishki's The Birth of Tragedy and The Case of Wagner. For two dollars here, I think. Oh, maybe it might have been one dollar, but it's got a lot of underlining because it's, like I mentioned before, previously, it's nonfiction. So you gotta flip through, especially Nitschke books are a little bit more sought after and worth a little bit more, so you, you want to do your due diligence by scoping them out, and then when you sell them, take pictures of all the flaws, including underlining and such. If somebody gets this book, they're not expecting to get a book with a whole bunch of underlining, and then this is what they receive, not knowing, then they'll be a little upset, most likely. Born in Blood? Okay, so this was... A $4 book right here. Lost Secrets of Freemasonry. Nice condition. Let's check out when this book was published. This is in 1989, so it's an older title. Probably pretty cool. Let's look at the table of contents really quick. Just some interesting stuff to look through and read about. And then we got Tolkien's Bestiary, 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 however you say that. Nice, uh, huge, oversized, hardcover, coffee table style book. But this is, of course, going to contain a lot of really cool, fun stuff to look through. And awesome, awesome art, as you will see throughout. For four bucks, I mean, the only reason it was four dollars, or, I mean, excuse me, three dollars of that tear in the cover probably and a little bit in the back but hey that's all right I'll take it what else we got okay so <clears throat> has more recently a couple days ago the teachings of the master thought this looked kind of interesting when i flipped through it it's got that again which what does this indicate okay it's probably got some underlining and such that's okay Two bucks, and that's who we belong to before. And if you want to get a synopsis, let's see if we can uh, find a page. Okay, there's a table of contents right there, so. And 
what have we got here? The Lumeria, The Lost Continent of the Pacific, a hardcover. Four dollars for this. Okay, for some interesting reading. Okay, it's a later printing or later edition. It looks like a lot of editions. This one is 19, a 12th edition from 1971. So they reprinted this or re-edited it a lot of times, different editions and printings. Okay. Another one of the more awesome finds is this $3 copy of the Light Fantastic hardcover with some of the coolest cover art you will ever see with these early Discworld books. And the hardcovers really bring it out since they're bigger, you know, than the paperbacks. So you get to really see all the cool details of the cover art on these. Book Club Edition. What an awesome deal for three bucks, though. You know? And it's something to spend a little bit extra on is uh, nine dollars. Uh, this copy of we got Le Guin's five novels. There's a little insert in there. Make sure not to bend it. Put that aside for now. And let's see here. Let's see what five novels we have in here. Yeah, these, I think this is the is it the popular Library of America. It's got the cool slipcase, of course. So we got the Lathe of Heaven. Which is, uh, if you want to, if you're interested in, uh, there's not too many Le Guin movies, but The Lay the Heaven is one. And it's a pretty good story. The movie's okay. So check that out if you can find it. The Eye of Heron, The Beginning Place, Sea Road, Chronicles of Klatsen, and Lavinia. And then there's some essays and some other stuff in the back. But a total of about a thousand pages in this one. I think because the pages are really thin, as you might have heard when I was turning them. But these are very good quality books, so I'll put that back in after the video. And let's see what else we got here. For four bucks. Children of Duty. You don't see I I see the fourth, fifth, and sixth book in these oversized paperback Berkeley forms. Not the third book or or the first, any of the first three is off nearly as often. This one is in fantastic condition, though. And, of course, this is one more people are more interested in at the moment, at the current moment, because of the movie, of where the movies are as far as in relation to the books. So this will be a quick seller, most likely, but for four bucks, awesome deal. Oversized paperback, of course. And Nitschke's philosophy, okay, a book about... Nishi, a fourth edition, philosopher, psychologist, antichrist. <laughs> I think, don't know what that's about, but he does have a book called The Antichrist, I think so. It's got, what is we got going there? I hope that's something that'll clean off. I have no idea what that is. It doesn't feel too good either. Two bucks, I'm pretty sure for that. Actually, you know, this might have been one dollar. I'm not sure. I think it was actually one or two either way oh forgot to show from earlier in the week we got a couple big cds of wagner so let's see what we got there so I'm pretty sure that's an opera there yeah it's an opera and Another opera, yeah. For one dollar each, this might be worth a little something more, but of course I could just upload them in my computer and then figure out what to do from them from with them from there. And we got Mozart's another opera, nice big. So they come with uh, some of these big CD packages come with like an extra little booklet. See that one's a pretty thick one right here for that. And the Wagner as well right there I think yeah okay back to the books some one dollar paperbacks here Lop song Rampa's the third eye Guy Gabriel K Lord of Emperors 
cool pickup because you don't see his books too often for any price, so nice to pick that up. And we got a couple of Tolkien, Lord of the Ring books. We got and these are the Del Rey editions. These are pretty cool paperback editions. You got Fellowship and the Two Towers. Some pretty cool cover art on the front of those. And nice, pretty nice condition as well. And Tommy Knockers, which is one of the Stephen King books I, I uh, there's five Stephen King books that I want to read as far as uh, choosing between the what which Stephen King book I want to read next. I think the Tommy Tommy Knockers is at the very top of my list just based on some recommendations by other people who really like it. Though I've heard there's other people who don't like the Tommy Knockers, but I think I'm going to like it. It's a big book though, paperback. One dollar. And we got The Prophet Unarmed and The Prophet Outcast. This is a book on books on Trot, Trotsky. Volumes 2 and 3. Did see Volume 1. Maybe I'll come across it another time. Hopefully this week. Maybe I missed it or something. And these are nice looking editions and copies except for the backs here. So it's $1 each for those. And to finish off here, got The Outsider by Stephen King. Which has it I have seen the uh, series. I'm pretty sure I finished it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's a really weird story. One of the more uh, written, I'd, I'd say about a decade ago, so it's one of his newer titles, if you're not familiar with that. Uh, $1, though, so good deal. And $1 for this book on psychic energy, the source in its transformation. It's got a forward by C.J. Jung, so that made me more likely to buy it. But for a buck, awesome deal. Here's one of the third other really good find. We had a few good finds on this. So what was that? The Michael Moorcock, The Life Fantastic by Pratchett. And we got this three-in-one book by Glenn Cook, Annals of the Black Company. Awesome condition. Really awesome find for one dollar. Really happy with that. Copy in Neil Stevenson's Reamed? Reamed? I don't know. Oh, read me. Yeah, however you want to say it. Big book, hardcover, but for one buck. I got some other Neil Stevenson that I could sell this with. Though I am interested in the author as well. Speaking of which, authors that I am very, very, very interested in. I, I pick up anything by Colin Wilson because it's hard. his books are hard to find. And they're all over the map as far as genre is concerned fiction and non-fiction. This one is called Hunting Serial Killers, and I'm pretty sure it's one I do not have. Pretty sure. Oversized paperback. You don't find his books too often, so really happy to come across that for one dollar. And this, I think, yeah, I picked this up for my dad, who's always interested in these uh, expeditions up really tall mountains, and this one Oh, this is a gripping story of tremendous courage and unbelievable endurance, says Sir Edmund Hillary. So this uh, talks about certain expeditions of probably Everest. Oh, there's a cool map right there. Look at that. An old one. It looks like Everest and K2 potentially in there. One dollar, though. And last, we got a book by Art Bell. I don't see... Art Bell's books too often. I'm sure there will be some interest in this if I decide to sell this one. But it looks like it's got some interesting stuff in here, as you might imagine, from the guy. From somebody like Art Bell. Let's see here, what do we got? Chapter 1, Technology. So it's all about the typical stuff which you might imagine. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. Happy reading to you. And to those about to read, I salute you.